This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Yo, welcome. So you're probably wondering what's going on here. So as you remember, I built my first robot not too long ago. Whoa, hold it right there, present tense Jabril. Your thoughts are not authorized. I'll take it from here. Yo guys, so not too long ago, Destin from the channel Smart Every Day got together with some friends and decided to put on a little event with the purpose of connecting EDU creators and inviting any and all who wanted to come. And with some awesome help from YouTube to make this happen, the event became official. Announcing ThinkerCon. You remember several years ago, five of us educational content creators got together and we did this live event. It was really fun, but people came from like 40 states and 12 different nations for it. So clearly there's a lot of demand for this sort of thing. We're gonna do something similar, only much bigger. There were five content creators at that event. There's going to be 20 times that at what we're doing here. And when I got my invite, I immediately thought, how cool would it be to create some mega featured video featuring a lot of the creators that you know and love? And at the fact that I had some three full months to think of an idea, I was feeling quite good about this mega featured project idea. Fast forward to the day of my flight and I had the best idea on how I could explain to you guys on what happened. <laughs> See, what happened was, a little after I got the invite from Destin, Unity actually invited me to the LA conference. I go to that, learn how to make AR apps, and <laughs> well, let's just say my schedule fell into chaos after AR ideas invaded my brain. So much so that even on the plane, I was still experimenting with AR. I ended up making this little personal YouTube room portal demo thingy during my nine hour commute to ThinkerCon. So you forgive me, right? Perfect. Moving on. ThinkerCon the event itself was a blast. I got to meet and hang out with a lot of cool folk, have some really rare conversations, eat some really southern food, and ah man, I really hope YouTube is willing to help ThinkerCon again for another one because it was quite the dreamy conference. Anywho, it's now the final day of ThinkerCon and I still did absolutely nothing video wise. Which, when I travel, I do my best to try and make some sort of video about it. Because, I mean, let's face the facts. I spend so much time making YouTube videos that it's kind of like an archive of my life at this point. But thankfully, Jacqueline from the channel SciJoy and I have been trying to do a collaboration together for a couple of years now, and we finally had a date on the calendar. Which, of course, was the last day of ThinkerCon. AKA today. Or at least for the context of this video. And so, all of my ThinkerCon roommates and I loaded into a vehicle and headed over to Jacqueline's workshop on wheels. <laughs> no, seriously. If you only seen the amount of maker equipment that she and Tim stuffed into their little hotel room, you'd be amazed. Hi Jabril, what's up? It's better not to be in a video. Now, before we continue today's episode, a quick word from our sponsor. World of Warships. World of Warships is a strategy action game where you can command historically iconic naval warships. As you play, you unlock more and more ships to compete online with their player base of 13 million players worldwide. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the best part is, World of Warships is free to play. But that's not all. They are also constantly updating with new content like new ships, new missions, new events, and more. And you guys know how I do. I asked the sponsor something useful for me and something exclusive for you. So, if you use the promo code ACTIONSTATIONS2019, new players will receive 250 doubloons, 1 million credits, an HMS Campbelltown premium ship, one port slot, and three days of premium time. Yo, World of Warships, thanks for offering that to my audience. All for free, mind you. And guys, head on over to worldofwarships.com to claim your treats and jump into a few matches. And now, back to the episode. With everything pretty much ready and waiting for my mark, we started to record something, but I had no idea what. We started off with clearing up some of the things that I didn't fully understand when I made my first robot, and Jacqueline explained a lot of really interesting stuff. Like for instance, if you have something like an LED that has two pins, it's easy enough to grasp. One pin is for ground, and the other pin is for positive. Having used batteries all my life, it's simple, I get it. But, while looking at many things at my local maker's Disneyland, I came across things like this servo that has three pins, or wires. 
And so I asked Jacqueline about that. Yeah, so you have power and ground, so that's uh -huh. how you get your voltage, and, right? And then you need signal, because this is not an on or off, it's somewhere in between. I see. So the signal is going to be your uh, other one that's telling it where to go. So oh. this is a servo, oh. so okay. it turns. Right, and then the signal, is it controls essentially the, the power in which it will turn. Right. So it's, it's telling it how much to go, right. how much to turn. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So in a scenario like this, two wires still do as expected, ground and positive. But the last one is for the signal, which tells the servo which angle it needs to be at. Hmm, good to know moving forward. But la di la di la, fast forward to the part you all wanna see. Here is when the idea came to fruition. I think it's a it's a bit fitting. We're here at ThinkerCon. Yeah. And um, I feel like we're gonna have to say hello to a lot of people. Correct. So I would love to use a servo or whatever the case may be to make a waving bot. Okay. Yeah. Can we do that in yeah. the time we and have? Yeah. And we have uh, definitely. And we have down in there in the arts and crafts. We uh -huh. have um, either construction paper, oh. and we also have um, what are they called pipe cleaners, so you can make like a little a little hand. Yo. To wave to people. Yo. Y'all ready for some arts and crafts? Yeah. Yeah. You're great. never too old for arts and crafts, right? <laughs> oh, sounds great. Let's let's do this. All right, let's we're gonna wave this. to some people at ThinkerCon. That's what was my idea. I like it. I think it I should like be you. Yeah. yeah. A little <laughs> mini you. A little mini you. No. It's a bit too egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it Destin. Like, could you make a it Destin? Let's make yes. Destin. Well, do we have do we have blue? Can we make a blue hat? Then they'll know it's Destin. Yes, that's a great point. And so, Project Build Robot Destin was in full effect. First, we need to get familiar with the domain of our components, which for the board, we were using an Adafruit Circuit Playground Express if you were curious. And so, we ran a very simple program of rotate to zero degrees and then to 180 degrees. Ran the program and waited to see what would happen. And then, it should just go. Hey, Shakira. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little Shakira action going on. Hey, very seductive, but not the desired effect we wanted. So what do you think maybe went wrong with this? Like, I try to say the program is a checklist for the robot. Mm -hmm. So if you're a robot reading this checklist as fast as you possibly can read this checklist, what do you think, what do you think you're doing? Not giving enough time to um, get to the other angle. Right, so you're just boop, 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 right. boop. So you're trying to get back to the other one, but you're already at 180, and then by the time you try and get to zero, you're already told to go back to 180. So I need so to sleep or awake. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. So we put in some weight functions. So I'm gonna add a weight in there, and then I'm going to just guesstimate. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start seconds, high. Whatever number you want. Five seconds, and I know I need another weight. Not album. I'm still, am, do I need to save it? But they turned out to be the wrong weight functions. The IDE we we're using was MakeCode by Microsoft, and because it offered a few different types of weight functions, we tried another one called Timer that we believe made a bit more sense to use. And... Come on. There we go. Bazinga. Yeah. There we go. Closer. Uh, almost. So, Maybe so. 180 is too far. What we believe was happening at this point was that we were getting too close to the angle limits of the servo. And so, we made the rotation angle a bit more acute. Instead of trying to do a full 180, we instead narrowed it down to 90 degrees and ran it again. There we go. And we got it. Whoa, wait a second. Why it waits so long? It's the time function is a bit. Any thoughts? Pauses Here. seem to be getting longer. Yeah. Is yeah. there is there anything being added to the weight that it could be piling up with longer yeah. and longer weights? It turns out our second weight function timer wasn't the correct one either. It kept doubling the wait time after every rotation or something like that. And so we tried yet another weight function called pause. Okay. Let's see what happens. There we go. There it is. Yay. There it is. Oh, High fives all around. Go. Yeah. And bazinga. Oh. Yeah. Team it's fun. This is, this is what problem solving is all about. Yeah. Cool. So we got our, we got our, we got our Destin's hand without the actual right. hand. Correct. It finally worked. 
like for real this time. Now listen, if you aren't familiar with programming, this process is quite typical. Even if you're a 30 year programming veteran, and let's use the same library day in and day out, you will need documentation to know the differences between things like sleep, wait, and pause. Because it's very likely that different libraries define them differently. For the most part, there is no real standard for this stuff. So, shout to the team for debugging this with absolutely no documentation. But, now that we have the most important part figured out, our robot is pretty much done. All that's left now is arts and crafts. Q montage. Welcome to ThinkerCon. All right, let's finish this. Let's finish this. And then we finally finished it. Now, listen, I know what you're thinking. How did you guys get a hold of such advanced cloning technology? Calm down, calm down. I promise you it is for sure a robot. <laughs> now, all that's left is to go around ThinkerCon introducing everyone to this exact replica, Destin. <laughs> Let the good times begin. And then we actually ran into the other Destin and boy was in trouble. We got confused on which was the real Destin and which one was the robot. We almost accidentally took the real Destin with this back to the hotel. <laughs> but yeah, that was pretty much the story on how we turned a YouTube creator into a robot. Following this, the event was a great time. Had some nice chats. I was on a panel with some cool folks. Watched the fireworks finale. Then the next day, I was on my flight headed home back to San Diego. Not gonna lie, I was quite sad that the trip was over. But I was quite happy to have a video to edit and share with you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm Destin and you should totally subscribe to Jabril's channel, because that's something Destin would say totally and I am in no way a rope. Alright guys, that's all from me for this week, but before we go, a couple of things. Be sure to go check out my buddy Jacqueline's channel. She has all types of robotics DIYs and a bunch of other cool engineering content. Link to her channel is in the description. Also, thanks to our sponsor for this week, World of Warships. Again, link is at the top of the description. Now it's begging time. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. It helps out a lot more than you know. And real quick, I hear a lot of people talking about how YouTube doesn't show my videos to them. Well, quick tip, YouTube shows you videos in three different ways. The home tab, the trending tab, and the subscription tab. If you try and find me on the trending or home tab, my video likely will not be there. But as it's been communicated to me, it should always be on your subscription tab if you check it. <laughs> but anywho, please can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Adjibrils underscore is my handle and it's a great time, I promise. And if you want to support my work beyond YouTube, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon for patronage. And shout out to these top patrons for the support. 
All right, I hope to see you all next week, but whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity.